What's up guys and welcome back to another video. What's up guys, thank you so much for everybody who commented on the last video. I took all your guys suggestions and I think I'm gonna go out with this route right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it to this back wall. I removed everything that was on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it to this back wall here. Nice and clean and run our wiring as clean as possible under this other panel here. So all you're going to be able to see is barely any wiring through here. I think that's our best possible scenario. We don't want to mess around with the airbag stuff here. And I still want to use the jump seat so I can't put it there. So uh, thank you for everybody who suggested a smaller amp. But I want to try to use what I have. I should be fine with just securing it nice and tight with some uh, some rivet nuts on each side yeah some rivet nuts on each side and I think it should be fine and that'll allow me to have my clean setup I'm gonna be running the wiring now from that side all the way down and up all right guys I went ahead and installed this back speaker here I didn't show the process because I did show it in the other video. If you guys want to see the process of how to install these, check out the previous video from this one. But this one's nice and installed already. You guys can see that. A little dynamo here. And since I want to be putting our amp here, I'm trying to run as most of the wires I can through here. So this is that speaker. This is going to be the front one with the tweeter that we haven't yet installed, but I'm running the wiring. And I want to run that. All the wiring is going to be behind that plastic panel. All that plastic paneling is going to be under here. So uh, the next thing you want to do is run all that those four wires that I was going to run under the jump seat. Now I'm going to run it behind here, probably in this area here, or maybe right in between here. I'll see how I run it, but it's supposed to reach all the way over here where we have our ground uh, remote and power. And we also have to run our ground to somewhere down here. So we've got a, quite a few things to do. So let's not waste time. All right guys, I had an early start in this video so it's kind of kind of dark right now. It looks like it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna call it a day right here. Um, but let me show you, I'm running into all sorts of trouble, man. Especially because where I thought I was gonna install the amp is not the correct location. And then I wanted to install it right here in this area but I also um, need a lot more wiring to go, to tuck it in nicely, you know, to make a 90 degree, 90 degree. And I want it to run it in this little place here. It's like if it's meant to be it ran through there, but it's a lot of wiring. So at the end of the day, I think I'm gonna switch it over to the passenger side. I could put it right in the middle, make it like a nice beauty panel, but I don't kind of want the people outside to be able to see it right away it's just an invitation for thieves so not that you can't see it there but at least the actual seats gonna block it a little bit plus I don't have to run too much wiring I kind of just mocked it right here but you guys can see see there's like a opening here that I can run my power ground and everything through here because there's how do I explain it? it's like a weco right here and then there's a little wikito right here too for all the leads here. So all I would do is in that little uh, plastic panel is drill like a hole here to have everything coming out through here and another hole here to have all our speaker wires coming out. So that's all gonna be done tomorrow hopefully. It's a lot of work so we gotta do it. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, it's a couple days later. Let me show you the progress that I've done on the truck. So, I didn't want to bore you guys with the boring stuff. So this is what I have so far. We got the amp pretty much mounted. Already decided to put it on this side. So we have all our wiring, you guys can see. My wiring coming from this panel out right here. This is my RCAs. And we got our speaker wires, ground, power, and remote all coming from here. So I ended up putting it on this side. I think it's a clean install right here. I did insert nuts here to hold it. 
this thing is not going anywhere. I don't want to drill more holes here. I could have just routed it here and twisted it and turned it. But I think that's fine. This is going to cover most of the area here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just clean up all this area here, vacuum everything. And all we have left to do is run our RCAs over to our new head unit. So I'm going to be installing that head unit right now. Uh, it's another Pioneer. This one I think is like a year or two old here so I'm probably gonna be selling this one it should be an easy install hopefully it's the same wiring if not I'll just wire it real quick and then run that and hopefully I can test everything in this video I still haven't had a chance to install the driver side uh, speaker or tweeter but I do have the rear one installed I do have the passenger side install and the passenger rear install so everything's pretty much uh, I want to say 80% there so as long as I get the head unit in i think i can test that i can just put the speaker down on the ground somewhere and just test to make sure everything is working the other issue i have is i haven't turned on the truck for three months now since longer than three months before i left to mexico december probably yeah four months i haven't turned on the truck since four or five maybe even five months who knows can't think of the last time i turned it on but it's completely dead so I do have like a battery uh, tender right now plugged in, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna take a couple days to fully, fully charge that battery. So I'm not gonna be able to test it today, but through the power of editing, I'm gonna be showing you guys anyway, so I won't make you guys wait. Hopefully, like I said, I can test just to make sure everything works. I'm not gonna tune anything in this video yet because I still have to button up a lot of stuff. So let's start off by cleaning this whole mess right here. I got everything wired up. All we have to do is to put these RCA cables from here, the glove box, down this wiring, and to the back of this uh, head unit here. I went ahead and removed this bottom, uh, what do you call that? Like dash panel or kick panel. That way I can run the wires through here cleanly. And I'm gonna go ahead now and just carefully without breaking this, because this is very delicate. So I'm pulling it very, very slightly. That way we can fully, fully remove this and replace our head unit. All right, guys, this is the old um, radio. Not really that old uh, 2017, but old to me. So this is the new one here. So this one does have the RCAs right here. I could have just used a splitter and used the same ones because all we have is one front and one rear. But to me, I think I'm going to get a cleaner sound if I do this directly on here. So the only thing I have to do now is match these, these brackets here over to this other area right here. And we should all be set. Luckily, it is the exact same plug. I'm just going to plug it in without wiring anything and hopefully it still works. Alright, everything's plugged in. We got our four RCAs for our speakers and then our two for our subwoofers. And then, like I said, I'm using the same connection here. I'm not going to go over the whole connections and what I have back here. If you guys want to see that video, make sure you check out my previous videos of sound system installs. Because everything, that video pretty much explains everything on here. But the RCAs, I don't have much room back here, so I'm gonna just tie them up here and zip tie them around here. And I think everything should be set. All right guys, everything's buttoned up. Everything's back together. I need to wash these seats. But, like I said, my battery's completely dead. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to test it, but you guys will see it pretty soon. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and just wash this truck. Look how dirty it is. We got spider webs everywhere. So, it's time to give her a quick wash. Look how dirty that thing is. All right guys, she's all washed and clean now. I'll catch you guys tomorrow where hopefully my battery, if it's not completely dead, turns on so that way I can give you guys a quick demo 
kind of because the speaker on the driver's side like I said is not gonna be fully installed yet but at least we get to hear something see if it works or not but I'll catch you guys tomorrow what's up guys and welcome back to the next day so I'm not gonna bore you guys with dang it, I need my keys I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing this in like five six different parts so I'm just gonna try to film as much as I can in this video because I know you guys have been waiting for this video and a lot of you guys are just waiting for me to test the sound and everything. So I did manage to finish this whole other side. I still need to finish wiring our tweeter though. So I left the wire for the tweeter here. That way I can button everything up here. And mount it here. So I need to cut the hole. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Before I show you the demo. Because I want to show you a an accurate demo and keep in mind though keep in mind that this is just gonna be a demo uh, without tuning the amp without tuning the other amp and so it's gonna be like a little rough demo but nevertheless it's gonna sound really really good as soon as I'm finished with everything I'm gonna do a separate video of how to actually tune your amps a lot of you guys have been asking that so I do have a special tool that's used to tune the amps that I'll be showing you guys in the next video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure that you guys don't miss the other videos. But let's go ahead and cut out. Take this off. I don't think we're going to be able to fit this. But let's go ahead and cut out our tweeter for this area. Mount it, wire it up, and then test the sound for you guys. Alright guys, I'm going to go inside, take this off with acetone, and then wrap these little panels here. Alright guys, and just like that, through the power of editing, we're all done. Let's go ahead and test it out, make sure that we get some audio out of this. Me les voy a presentar. Speakers are all working. Our amp is nice and hooked up over here. It's kind of hard to give you guys a good demo, so you're going to have to wait for the next video. We'll pull the truck out and we'll see how loud it sounds from far away. Alright, I'm going to try to go all the way to the street. Patrullando los plebes bien equipados que me cargo por 
that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. Thank you to everybody who is supporting the channel and gives these videos big thumbs up. Make sure to copy your merch. We still have a bunch of these stickers for sale, so make sure you guys collect all your stickers from your favorite YouTubers. Stay tuned. We still have to tune the system. Um, it's not 100% right now, so I can't put the volume all the way up because I don't, I don't want to blow my speakers. But as soon as I tune everything 100%, we'll take it to the streets. I'll probably put my camera somewhere and I will see how far you can still hear the music. So let me know what you guys thought about the video down below and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.